These are the opening title cards to the film The Running Man, the 1987 dystopian film starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. Up until recently, it would have seemed unlikely that a 30-year-old Arnold Schwarzenegger B-side would resurface in the popular imagination. Yet now that Americans are about to watch Donald Trump be sworn in as president of the United States, a future where the media manipulates citizens with fake news, a reality show host that gives orders to the military, and a populace too distracted by their screens to care about social injustice doesn't seem that futuristic at all. I watched the picture again about six months ago, and of course, we've come full circle now with a reality show president. Set in Los Angeles circa 2017, and based off of Stephen King's novel of the same name, The Running Man tells the story of America in the aftermath of an economic collapse. The only thing uniting the poor and ultra-rich is a fascination with a reality show called The Running Man, where convicted criminals are pitted against roided-out gladiators. The show's producers and the U.S. military apparatus are well aware that this TV series is the only thing distracting Americans from their poverty and lack of civil rights. Schwarzenegger plays Ben Richards, a policeman in prison for rebelling against the state and falsely portrayed by the media as a murderous lunatic. And thus, he is forced to compete on The Running Man. 30 years after its release, this film is incredibly unsettling to watch in the run-up to Trump's inauguration. Still, at the time of its release, Schwarzenegger saw it as nothing more than fiction. It's a movie and not reality. It's uh, just a story, and you know? I just never can forget that. Although to him, it was nothing more than an entertaining action movie, it's uncanny how much it managed to predict. Motherboard caught up with The Running Man's original screenwriter, Stephen E. D'Souza. This was an early design for uh, Ben Richards. They obviously uh, know at this point it's gonna be Arnold Schwarzenegger, but it's kind of rather Conan-esque. We've all, you know, seen the various versions of 1984. We've seen the, the uh, dystopic, you know, visions of the future going back to uh, Brave New World and The Running Man. It's probably a distillation of every horrible dystopia you would not want to live in uh, laid out in the future and an extrapolation of some, some things that were going on in society that I said, well, let's take these to a preposterous example, never knowing that I'd get to 2017 and go, this is an awful lot like something I typed. In the aftermath of the Boston bombing, Americans saw how easy it was for the government to totally suspend civil rights in a door-to-door -door pursuit of an alleged criminal, something which happens in the film after Schwarzenegger escapes from a labor camp. We interrupt Captain Freedom's workout to bring you this urgent news bulletin. The city police are engaged in a door-to-door -door search for Benjamin A. Richards. In the film, the media apparatus manipulates the truth to frame undesirables for crimes they've never committed. Fake news was a leading issue post-election, and in The Running Man, it's uncannily prescient. And as we saw over the course of the most recent election cycle, using media to spread politically convenient lies has never been more in vogue. I'm not gonna give you a question. You are fake news. Go ahead. Well, if there was something I wanted the audience to take away from the picture when it came out, it would be a certain skepticism about what they see in the media. There is a lot of underhanded behavior in the course of the movie. You know, these are things that the trends were already in place at this time in the 1980s. And, uh, you know, what was like a little gentle uh, elbow in the ribs, a little uh, ironic wink is now like a red flag that's on fire. Then there's the bizarre coincidence where a game show host is literally giving orders to the military. And now Trump, the one-time host of reality show The Apprentice, is now commander-in-chief of our armed forces. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the next president of the United States of America, Mr. Donald J. Trump. is being bloodsucked. At one point, Killian, Richard Dawson's part, says, get me the president's agent. And the president-elect has an agent. And the blurring of reality programming and the reality we live in is uh, getting, the, the line is getting fuzzier and fuzzier all the time. And uh, the fact that a reality show host is going to become the president 
And in the movie, we have a rowdy host who apparently is a key, in, if not the key figure in a total future, you know, dystopia. Yet Trump is not alone in his move from the silver screen to the political arena. Schwarzenegger and his co-star, Jesse Ventura, both were elected state governors after their stints in Hollywood. And bringing everything more strangely full circle, Schwarzenegger has recently replaced Trump as the reality show host of The Apprentice. Connie, you're terminated. Hasta la vista, baby. For better or worse, The Running Man is more relevant now than ever. But its creators never intended to predict the future. Instead, they thought they had produced an absurd, heightened vision of unreality. So while The Running Man didn't get everything right about 2017, it did manage to capture the strangest developments 30 years in advance, giving its unsuspecting audiences a glimpse of a future where the line between reality and fiction becomes increasingly undiscernible. I think the takeaway is, gee, we should have been paying attention when this movie came out. Maybe we wouldn't be in this situation right now. Is there going to be a sequel to this movie? Yes, and you're living it. The sequel is reality. Every one of these is a different draft of this movie. So now that politics and entertainment have become completely merged, and given my connection to the Republican establishment, to my dear friend Arnold Schwarzenegger, this, this is going to be arranged to be put in the same bomb-proof shelter as the Declaration of Independence. 